Welcome everybody to your uh, first uh, video. Mm, this video um, will be dedicated to the uh, introduction on how to use uh, this platform. Um, make sure you always access our domain, which is integrativemedicine.talentlms.com. It's always this domain, and Talent LMS is our uh, um, background um, uh, e-learning system. So once you get here, um, um, you have your logging um, window where you use the same um, credentials that you use to purchase the scores. So in this case, we'll use the example of Tom Smith. We use a password and we log in. Right, you get directly um, to the course assigned, the one you purchased, and you can always go to the course catalog if you wish to um, to add another or purchase another one. We'll be having a few in in, our, in the roadmap. Um, <clears throat> apart from the uh, introduction of uh, uh, to human anatomy and physiology, we will be doing as well uh, interpretation of uh, laboratory results, general pathology, and and other very interesting courses in integrative medicine, which I'm sure you will be um, looking forward for in the looking forward for in the future. Um, so getting back to um, to the platform, this is the uh, your, your landing page. Um, you will have on your right hand side the uh, progress, which in this case there's nothing because we just started. Um, as you can see here, you have the timeline where you will have you will see all the activities that have been done. So you can be updated. You'll have badges. Will be assigned to you um, according to your progress and your your outcomes. The courses uh, tab will be the ones um, you are um, assigned to. <clears throat> and we um, would like you to uh, to suggest that uh, please upload an um, avatar picture of you so we can know uh, who you are at least and you know and um, just update your bio data if you can in a few minutes you can just do this very very easily um, for that you can go here and you have your bio you can change always your password if you want and then update it always your time zone and your basic uh, information like also the u the username and the and the email you can change it also well anytime uh, you can check here your progress as well directly or your infographics where you see your points uh, the, the badges you you got it's just a uh, you know a, a statistical dashboard where you see um, um, you know what you have succeeded with and I think it's 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 quite engaging <clears throat> so If you go back to the, um, to the landing page, once you log in, um, you, you can join a group uh, if we have created one uh, specifically for this diet and nutrition course. Discussions where we um, where anyone can um, hold a conversation about a specific topic uh, related, of course, with, with, the, um, with the course. There's a calendar as well where you can see, uh, you know, the activities if um, if we uh, load any, uh, you know, for a specific seminar or training that we uh, thought it might be interesting at a specific moment. Um, and if you uh, access uh, to the course, well, if you see here, we have, let's say you purchase this today, uh, which is the 13th, 13th of uh, March, it will give you exactly seven weeks to um, complete the course. So it will tell you here exactly when the course will expire, okay? So as I was saying, if you have access to the, the, um, the course, the section of the course, you have the description and the syllabus, the interactive syllabus with the links directly to the content. This is very, very, um, very interesting because you uh, will be able to see the progression, sequential progression of the content and you will be able to access directly through the link. However, um, once you start with the first one, for example, 
Here is the welcome the, and the five top reasons for purchasing for having purchased this course. Actually, you can always go here and you know progress sequentially, content after content, without the need to go back to the syllabus. Or you can go to the interactive syllabus back again through this link, and you can choose you know where you want to uh, access. We don't recommend you actually go uh, you know and jump to other units without having actually, uh, you know, um, completed the rest of them because uh, the, the course is designed in such a way that you drag the information from one unit to the other so you can understand the next one. Uh, but anyways, it's your choice. Um, you have a section here of files where you can, you know, um, access the, um, the PowerPoint presentations, the documentation, uh, and you can, of course, uh, you know, um, download them uh, easily, uh, um, as well as the scripts. Okay, for example, this is the Unit 2, Script Physiology and Composition of Nutrients. This is what the structure is actually uh, talking about during the recording of the video, but you have it all in text if you wish to uh, read it in your free time. Um, there is a um, menu here where you can go directly to my info, to my courses, to my certifications. If, uh, once you have completed uh, the progression of your course, the groups, the branches, and the files, it's as simple as that. Um, you know, any um, issue that you, or any doubts, or anything that you need. Um, don't use that your email, please. Just go directly to the message, internal messaging system and send us a message. You can either select the recipient, which is system administrators. If there's any technical issue whatsoever or any problem that you encountered with, uh, send it to us. Uh, if you want to share it with all the uh, students of the course, uh, you know, you can just select the course. Or if you want to um, just uh, any specific pro uh, personal um, question, uh, you can direct that to your instructor directly, okay? And and, and in this case, she will, uh, Dr. Uh, Anna Baroni will be the one to, to reply to you. Um, that's very simple. You just, you know, edit the body of the message and send it like a normal email. If you need to attach something, you can, you can, you can do it, uh, or screenshot or whatever, you know, um, anything that you need to, um, to tell us or to show us, you can always select the, uh, the attachment tab. Um, well, um, there's not much more. It's quite simple. Um, we hope, um, you know, you really, really um, enjoy the, uh, the course. Uh, one thing, one last thing, uh, you know, um, the additional resources is one of the things we've taken a long time to um, to dedicate to designing this this course, um, they're, they're not compulsory uh, to you know to complete the course and get your diploma or certification, but we really really and strongly suggest you go through them. Uh, some of them are short, some of them are long. In any case, the longest is no uh, longer than an hour um, or 56, 57 minutes, uh, because they're seminars or webinars you know which are recorded and we have uh, research. Uh, them and, and from amongst hundreds of, of videos, um, you know, and we really needed to see which ones are adapted to you uh, and which will, ones will be the best for you. So take your time, please, and go through them because they will really, really um, give you very, very good information for your professional uh, practice and your daily clinical practice. Um, the, for example, in this case, additional resource for micro micronutrients, very, very interesting. Uh, to understand maybe this block uh, under the basic uh, concepts in diet and nutrition, uh, it was necessary to add the energy management concepts of the CREP cycle and the beta oxidation. Um, it is maybe a, a little bit uh, of, um, a little complicated maybe to understand in the sense that uh, you know, uh, it's quite a lot of biochemistry, but um, that's why we added two additional resources, one for Krebs cycle and another one for beta oxidation. Uh, so you have more clear 
uh, you know, um, um, this this two two important uh, uh, biochemical cycles. Uh, but of course, you 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 have the the lecture of unit structure, which uh, hopefully with that should be enough, uh, um, pretty clear. Uh, another interesting additional resource, we just find more about diabetes type two and type one. Um, the health and nutrition in, and obesity is very interesting. The webinar on oncology and nutrition, uh, I think it's also very very um, um, quite quite interesting because uh, there's a great tendency in the last uh, years um, um, about the importance of nutrition in cancer patients. And most of the oncologists, maybe, uh, you know, the conventional oncologists do not take this into much account, but um, there are many uh, integrative oncologists who are already prescribing um, uh, nutritional plans uh, for cancer patients, basically restrictive uh, and uh, restrictive caloric uh, diets because the metabolism of uh, cancer cells are based on on high consumption of glucose and and also um, you know um, ketogenic uh, based uh, diets as well. Um, they have seen uh, in many research and many uh, investigations that in many um, papers that you can find even online that this is a real fact and, and it really helps in, 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 in many patients. So we hope with this uh, tips that we give you, the lecture and the content in, in, in this section of the oncology will, will help you understand uh, much of, the, uh, of, this, of, this, uh, of this part. Not only that, but it might seem um, maybe a little bit awkward in mental disorders, uh, you know, uh, something so simple like nutrition can actually, uh, you know, uh, um, increase the well-being and the and the and the situation of a, per, of a person with a mental disorder. Well, it, it does, and there's a great great um, additional resource that we added here, um, uh, which is the role of nutrition mental health and a recorded seminar uh, about uh, which starts with the question: What if nutrition can treat mental health? We really uh, uh, suggest that you that you see this. And we'd like to make a special request. Um, once you finish the seventh unit, um, please access the um, the uh, this survey because it's very important for us to know your feedback about on the course. Um, so please take a, a few minutes just to complete this. And the last last thing, um, I just want to go through the uh, tests. Um, once you completed the uh, the the, um, the subsections of the unit, you can start the test. Well, actually, please read this first carefully. Sorry, let me get back to for example here. Read this section, um, you know, the the starting of the of the um, the test first. We have not placed 50% uh, as a password. We placed it to 70% because we really want you to, to review the content properly and have a good level of understanding. So once you um, read that, you enter the, uh, the, the first uh, questions, 1 to 10, normally. You don't have to do it sequentially. You can jump to another one and then go back. Okay. Sometimes, uh, normally, it's one, uh, one possible answer. But in other cases, there will be um, more than one, and you know, in general, there there are no um, tests or questions that you need to complete by uh, typing. Normally, it's all automatic. You will get your 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 results uh, immediately, and it will tell you exactly where you failed. Uh, don't worry if you don't uh, pass it in the first time. Uh, you'll have another a uh, couple of more um, chances to do so. So, um, thank you for watching this. Um, hope it's clear. Uh, anyway, we are available um, um, through the messaging uh, internal system. We will try to reply in 24 hours, a maximum of 48, but don't worry, we'll try uh, 24 at best. Um, and anything you, um, anything else that you uh, would like to need, please communicate us through through this system. Thank you, I hope you enjoy and learn a lot.
Cheers and best regards.